Now we are joined in studio with Rick Bryant. Now Rick's gonna talk to us a little bit about first night. So Rick, for somebody like me who hasn't been to downtown State College during the new year, what can people expect? What do you guys have planned this year? Well, we have a lot of ice sculpture on the 100 block of South Allen Street. That's close to traffic as it is during the Arts Festival. And we uh, display giant ice sculpture walls there. We also have ice sculpture in Sydney Friedman Park and in front of the municipal building. Uh, we have a run that takes place at 6.30 p.m., so we close the streets for that on uh, New Year's Eve. We also have performances in local churches and the theaters. So you'll see a lot of people out on the street, all bundled up uh, against the cold and enjoying a good, clean fun, as we say. And of course, with New Year's comes New Year's resolutions. I've never been very good at them, but I understand there's a resolution sculpture. Can you tell me a little bit about sure. that? Sure. We, we actually have a bunch of resolution sculptures, and they're a place where you can sort of declare your New Year's resolution publicly, and even better, get to enjoy other people's too. So it could be sort of a tree that you might hang something on. Uh, we have one called Edison's Clothesline, and it looks like a clothesline. It's lit up at night, and you write your resolution on a shiny silver disc, and it could say something like, uh, I'll learn to eat broccoli, or I'm going to run a 5K or a marathon, or my favorite, be nicer to my boss. So, and and, you know, actually, State College is very multicultural, so a lot of the resolutions you'll see will be in a language that you don't understand. So it reminds us how uh, diverse our community is. That's great. So to be involved with all these concerts and activities, you're telling me a little bit about these buttons. This is kind of like your ticket into everything. So tell, tell me a little bit about sure. that. How's this work? A, a button is 10 bucks. It's available lots of places in advance. It's also available at every performance venue. Once you buy the button, it's good for the whole day. You can go to as many concerts and performances as you like as you can fit into your day. Uh, it's required by everybody over 12. So it's a good deal because you could see five, six things for your 10 bucks. How many different kind of concerts and, and activities are going uh, on? I think we have about 40 concerts. So that's, that's a rough estimate. So we have three really great variety performers in the Penn State Downtown Theater, the State Theater, and in the State College Municipal Building. And we have musical shows in the downtown churches. And each show has about, uh, each church has four or five performers in it. So there's a wide variety of stuff to choose from. Well, it sounds like so much fun. So when downtown State College is all decorated, the lights are up in the trees, what is that like? How does that set it apart from the whole rest of the year? What makes it worth seeing? Well, it, I mean, we, there are a lot of twinkly lights in State College now, but we add more. Uh, we add a lot more because that's what people like with First Night State College. It's a great way to just make it look like Bedford Falls or some city in a movie, really. So it's worth coming downtown just to see the lights reflecting off the ice and everybody's eyes. It's great. So where can people go to get kind of a full calendar list of everything that's being offered sure. in that day? Well, right now they can go to our website, which is firstnightstaycollege.com. So the, the full list of our activities is there. They can follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, we're at First Night SC on Twitter. So they can also pick up a paper program guide. It's published by Town & Gown. It's available lots and lots of places in the center region. And they will also be available at every performance venue uh, during the event.